Okay, here we go. Unboxing of the Harley Benton TE62DBBK. Very memorable name. I have took it out of the outer box, large outer box. I don't think you wanted to uh, watch me uh, unboxing that. So I've just cut the tape on the second box. And here we go. Standard bubble wrap packaging, kind of triangular shaped in a box. Nice bits of foam here. Sorry for the shaky camera. So first impressions. Very light, I don't think it's anything over seven pounds. This is the first time I looked at this. Here's the headstock. Darkish fretboard. Frets look relatively polished. Very black, black. It's definitely black. Let's see if I can show you the neck pocket. I've seen really bad neck pockets on custom shop fenders. Um, I don't really like cracks and splits, but if there's a bit of overhang or it's not really tidy, I'm not really that bothered. Yeah, you've got the Roswell pickups. The scratch plate is very white. I think they call those clues and clues on style tuners. I think it's a dark caramelized maple neck, very dark skunk stripe. Double binding, plain neck plate. It's a string through body. I've heard on line, these aren't very flush, but let's face it, people who are moaning about things like that on these guitars need to put their money, you know, put their hand in their pocket and uh, spend some more money. I can't see anything wrong with this guitar at the moment. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find something. Yeah, I mean, always with videos like this, there's probably something I wish I included later, but uh, I'm just trying to show you what it looked like as I received it. Honestly, it's flawless, to be honest. From what I've seen, it's flawless. I'm sure I'll find something. Uh, Someone complained of the control plate not being parallel to the bridge. I'm not sure. They might they might be a little bit right on that one, but who cares? It doesn't affect the playability. Um, it's out of tune, but you, know, you can't judge them on that. These feel like tens, but again, you can't judge a manufacturer or a shop on what strings they ship the guitar with. Uh, let's have a look at the nut. It look, it, you know, it's okay. Um, tuners. Yeah, just need oil in. I'm not, um, as long as the hardware is, is usable, you know, I'm not expecting it to be amazing, but you want it to stay in tune for a decent amount of time. Um, let's just flip it over. It, look, it looks absolutely flawless. I have a lot of fenders of Fender style guitars have passed through my hands. I think, looking at that thickness of that body, because it's important to some people, that it's just under one and three quarter inches. It's it looks considerably thicker than a Squire Affinity. I'm not sure it's quite as thick as the standard fenders, but you know, even fenders over the years the thickness of the bodies varies massively um i don't think there's anything more i need to show you other than i've got this lead with it which will probably go in the bin because i've got loads of them there you go any questions let me know thank you